Good evening, this is Bowser64 and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Photos on your PC. Basically Google Photos is an application that allows you to upload pictures to a folder on your computer or copy them over from your cameras and memory cards and then they will show up on the Google Photos cloud storage website. They are a mirror of each other which means you copy to Google Drive or Google Photos they will show up on your computer if you have it installed and running if you if you actually copy onto the website on Google Photos it will show up on your computer so basically you install Google Drive and you turn on the option that says to create a actual folder on your computer that allows Google Photos to communicate with it and this is probably accessible from Drive but the way you turn it on the simplest is to actually go to the Google website and set that up so that it allows Google Drive when it's installed on your computer to communicate with the server and download those pictures. So there's three ways to access the, the Google Drive storage. The first and most convenient way is to install Google Drive right onto your PC as an application that runs and opens whenever you log in and when you do that it will allow you to look at what you have on the Google Photos website and it will probably categorize everything on your pictures by folder name or by date and in this case it's the year and that's the easiest way to get stuff onto Google Photos if you have an Android smartphone if you have probably already have the Google Photos app sitting on your smartphone and if that is the case all you have to do is open that on your phone and and tell Google Photos to work and log into your Gmail account and any pictures you take on your smartphone will automatically sync into Google Photos and show up on all your devices via the website. Now the other way to get to Google Photos is to actually go to Google Chrome. I use Google Chrome because it's the easiest way to communicate with photos. It's a Google browser so it's guaranteed to work pretty much. And if you are logged into Google, which you probably will be if you are using Google Chrome or you have a Gmail, you go to this icon that's got a whole bunch of little dots and then you go down to photos you open that up and it will show you all the photos you have here so this is the google photos website if you go upload here it will open up a window on your computer you select anything on your hard drive your computer or anything you have plugged into your computer and it will put it on the google photos website and because you have google drive installed it will download those photos right into your computer because it's simply a mirror so I will show you the mirror concept right now by telling you where the Google Drive fo uh, folder is on your computer and the Google Photos website and how they interact with each other. So you go to Google Drive here and click access. There will most likely be a shortcut installed there when you install that program on your machine. And there will be a Google Photos folder in here provided that you hooked it up. And before we can go any further, it's important to realize that you do have to go to drive first in order to actually get this to work so we're going to bring up this menu again go into Google Drive and by the way guys this interface changes quite often when Google does an update they like to change things around if you can still get to Google Drive this is going to still be able to work pretty easily now in drive itself we're going to maximize the browser window there is a settings icon you click that you go to settings and you make sure that this automatically put your Google Photos full into a folder in my drive is checked anything you have in Google Photos from your Android smartphone or something like that will show right up into your Google Drive and because Google Drive is the application that you need to access your computers your photos on your computer not Google Photos because there's no application for that that I know of it's easiest just to hook this up this way and it will work so we're going to go back to photos and show you and finish showing you how this this works so once you have this Google Photos folder which will appear in your Google Drive on your PC once you check that in your browser on the website you will be able to actually mirror your photos to the Google Photos website and Google Photos in return will also communicate with your computer folder right here Google Photos and mirror everything on the website on your computer so the convenience about this is that you can take any pictures on your smartphone, they will automatically show up in Google Photos online, and then anything online, 
since it's hooked up to something that's offline, will download right into your hard drive. So you will have all your photos in one place, the same photo, name the same thing all the time, is the idea. And then if you want to actually put stuff onto the website or access it in any other ways that you can access Google Photos, you just put it in this folder here in Google Drive on your computer and it will show up on all your devices that can communicate with Google Photos and log into it. It's important to note you do have to be logged in for this to work, which means you have to be logged into your Gmail or your Google account for this to work. So the three ways, once again, are the website method of using Google Photos, the offline method of using Google Photos, which is to install the application and then put things on your hard drive that once you are connected to internet, it will back everything up. And then the other method is using various devices that integrate automatically with Google Photos that you don't have to do much of anything as long as you're logged into your Gmail account or any Google account. It will automatically be connected to Photos and anything you take on that device or so far as pictures and videos will automatically go to your cloud storage, which is Google Photos. So thanks for joining me today. I hope I made this a little less confusing for you to understand. It certainly is not a simple process. If you like this video, hit the like video, uh, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. If you dislike it, please tell me why, because I'd like to know how to make my tutorials better for you in the future. This has been Valorant64. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for future videos.